Dear viewers, in this video, I'll share in very simple language what is mutual fund, advantage, disadvantage, and at the end of the video, to best fund for you. Not only that, if you are an already invested in mutual fund, I am going to share you a secret in which you can earn better return, you will earn extra return on your existing mutual fund units. The same video is available in Bengali. Click on the link click on I am Prashanjit Paul, author of the best selling book How to Avoid Loss and Earn Consistently in the Stock Market and also actively investing in the stock market since 2010 and achieved financial freedom. So let's start. Suppose you have 1000 rupees to invest in share market but the issue is there are multiple shares those are priced 2500 3000 and all so with this small 1000 rupees you can't invest multiple shares directly in the stock market so there's another alternative suppose there are 100 persons each with 1000 rupees put the fund together so 100 percent each 1000 rupees the entire fund comes 1 lakh rupees right now this 1 lakh rupees is handed over to someone else to some expert who is managing the fund or that particular person is investing that 1 lakh rupees into various 20 30 shares and then they are dividing that 1 lakh rupees so this is how the mutual fund actually works see each investors if you have 1000 rupees to invest so you are an unit holder now this 100 persons each putting 1000 rupees so the entire amount comes at 1 lakh rupees that 1 lakh is called AUM asset under management in every mutual fund you will find these terms like AUM so AUM is asset under management and this is nothing but as in the example I have mentioned that 1000 uh, rupees each 100 percent so the total 1 lakh comes asset under management management now the fund manager who is managing or investing that fund what he did he just divided 1 lakh rupees into 200 parts so 1 lakh rupees 200 equal parts each part comes 500 and that 500 so the person who had invested 1000 rupees he the fund is offering two units of 500 to that Person. So this 500 rupees is called NAV, net asset value. Again in every mutual fund you will find this term NAV. So this is nothing but an unit value or net asset value. So in our example 500 is NAV. Now the person who is managing the 1 lakh rupees. Now there are some expenses. Actually there are like larger fund house be it HDFC, SBI. They are managing few crores of rupees. Now obviously for managing that fund there must have been some advertising expense, salary and all. Say so for example, in our example, the fund manager asked that, okay, I'll manage 1 lakh rupees for that, I will take 2000 rupees. So 2000 of 1 lakh, that comes 2%, right? Now this 2% is called expense ratio. Okay, now let's say that 1 lakh rupees, uh, after like 1 lakh rupees invested in shares or maybe some another instrument, that becomes 1 lakh 20,000 that is 20% 20 return. Now after that there is already 2000 rupees is the salary of that fund manager. So although there is 20% return on the actual investment. So after deducting that 2000 the remaining comes 18,000. So that 18% is the original return of the unit holders or the investors. Now what will happen if the fund somehow generates loss. Say for example there is 5% loss so that 1 lakh becomes 95,000. Even on that case, the expense ratio will be there. So considering 2% expense ratio, 5% is the loss and then 2% expense ratio, your loss or the unit holders loss will be 7%. So this is why the expense ratio is very important, which actually alters your return. Now, I am going to tell you the secret. If you are an existing mutual fund holder, how you can earn better return even in your existing fund. That's the secret that I am going to tell you. See, in any mutual fund, there are two plans. One is direct plan, another is regular plan. So direct plan means you are directly investing to the, you are directly approaching to the fund house. And in regular plan, there is some middleman or there is some intermediary. It can be bank or it can be your mutual fund advisor or any another person. So whenever you purchase a mutual fund, if you carefully follow the statement after the fund name, there must be in the bracket, there must be R, R means regular, or if in the bracket there is D, D means direct. Now, what's the difference between this regular and direct plan? That's a big difference is in the expense ratio. As you are directly purchasing a direct plan 
from the fund house so the expense ratio is much less in direct plan but in regular plan the expense ratio is higher because the fund house is actually paying to the intermediary so the basically what i noticed there is an 1 to 1.5 percent kind of difference see when you are purchasing a mutual fund through some bank or any some bank employee or maybe some mutual fund advisor most of the platform today 80 to 90 percent mutual funds sold or those are the regular plan again you check the mutual fund statement you might find your mutual fund is also a regular in regular plan while you are purchasing a fund you don't have to pay anything extra but what happens that particular intermediary is getting the commission from directly the fund house and this is why the exact return the return that you are getting is decreased by that equal proportion you will find for the same fund there is an around one to one and a half percent uh, difference between the direct plan and uh, regular plan it means for the same fund that you are getting if you are invested in a regular plan if you earn a return of 14 percent or whatever be the percent if you had invested one lakh rupees in any regular plan and the same fund the same direct plan the expense ratio may be one percent in every plan there is one to 1.5 percent difference so just because this one and 1.5 percent difference you can earn extra 1000 to 1500 just by shifting from regular plan to direct plan now see this is a very bitter truth no one no one will offer to i mean no one will uh, freely share with you because if they share then all the commissions that the bank employees are earning or the mutual fund advisors or the financial planners they are earning they won't earn any kind of a commission if you invest in direct plan this is why i fear many of the those person might put dislike button in this video but my motive if even few hundred persons can earn little extra few hundred rupees extra then that will be my profit as you can know i have no commission nobody is sponsoring the video nobody is giving me any kind of money to share this bitter truth to you so this is why what I will recommend if you have already invested in some regular plan, you can save money, you can earn extra money just by shifting from direct uh, regular to direct plan. Now, where you can purchase this direct plan? Well, right now, what I have noticed Upstocks platform and Zerodha coin offer direct mutual fund purchase. If you are already an existing account in Upstocks or Zerodha existing trading and demand account, from the same account, you can purchase the direct mutual fund if you don't have account yet the there is a link given below in the description box you can open account either at zerodha or upstocks in zerodha there will be 200 rupees account opening charge in upstocks right now it's free of cost so you can choose any one of the two and if you have trading and demat account there you can purchase direct mutual fund from their platform another option is you can directly visit the website of those fund house and then from website itself you can purchase direct plan so in website but the issue is if you are say for example as hdfc fund sbi uti fund so you need to visit multiple website for this multiple direct plan but in upstocks platform or in zero the coin platform so you can purchase a direct plan of multiple fund house in a one single place now depending on where the mutual fund invested their money there are multiple types of fund like equity fund equity fund means the entire money is invested in share market there are death fund then there are hybrid fund like a combination of equity death then many mutual fund invest in gold then many in real estate and also there are different types of fund now i am going to share you the advantage and disadvantage of mutual fund and after that i will share you the top two picks the top two best mutual fund that you can look into it the first advantage of mutual fund is it's highly regulated by sebi what it means it means although you are putting money or the fund is collected crores of rupees the fund manager can't invest elsewhere like what happened in cheat fund like multiple cheat fund collapsed because those fund managers see fund of the money or they utilized money in some different purposes so in mutual fund as it is highly regulated if it is an equity large cap mutual fund then that amount will only be invested in the large cap equity shares only now there is a possibility like the mutual fund where the fund is invested or the shares where that fund manager picked that shares ended up in loss so in that case the nav or you might ended up with loss in mutual fund that's completely different story but ultimately if it is a large cap fund then that amount there then your money is invested only in the large cap shares if it is a death fund then your money is invent invested only in the death instrument only it's not there are no chances of any money diversion as well as it is a highly regulated fund mutual fund is a highly regulated the second advantage 
despite very small amount as i am tell as in the first example i have already mentioned you have only 1000 rupees or every month you are investing 1000 2000 rupees so despite being a little amount you are actually indirectly taken position into multiple 20 30 shares if you invest directly in the share market so you need a respectable amount of fund with only 2000 you can't take position in uh, 10 20 shares but in mutual fund with only 500 or 1000 you can indirectly take positions into 10 20 or even the higher number of shares number three you no need no need to personal involvement because see when you invest in the share market a lot of time you must need to devote a lot of time for the research market tracking following the news and all but in mutual fund an expert is handling your money the fund house is handling this entire sum so this is why you that you don't have to do anything there can be a peace of mind you can focus your in your job or in your business so the entire thing is handled by a fund manager at the same time there are multiple disadvantages as well what are those disadvantages the first disadvantage is as this entire fund is handled by an expert it might happen he might take some wrong decision or he might take some wrong judgment so this is why your fund might out, out underperform so entirely return is entirely dependent on a particular person or a particular group of person the second disadvantage is that mutual fund can't invest in any share available in the stock market for example say for example the mutual fund uh, manager figured out some high potential micro cap or small cap stocks that might offer a great return uh, in the coming days or in the coming years but he can't invest on this low uh, value micro cap or small cap stocks because he must have to invest give in a within a list of stocks with some high volume stocks so this is one disadvantage but if you invest in direct equity you can invest in anywhere the second thing the third thing is while the market crash fund managers can't always invest why because see whatever the money is coming whatever the inflow based on whatever the money is coming in the mutual fund a fund manager is investing based on that but while the market crash what happens maximum investors withdraw their money so while there is an withdrawal pressure or while the so many persons are withdrawing the fund then automatically the fund managers also must have to sell the shares to honor the withdrawal request so this is why although as an individual investor if the market crash you can invest more and more but in mutual fund multiple times it happened although the fund manager is eager to invest more but as there are so many withdrawal requests so the fund manager must have to honor the request and can't invest while the market is falling the next disadvantage is miss selling I have noticed multiple bank employees or even multiple intermediary push mutual funds even to the persons those who don't know anything you might also notice there are uh, many times a bank employees is saying okay buy this fund these are the great funds and so on and so on what happens actually multiple employees need to fulfill their target there must there some selling target okay in one month you need to sell this amount of uh, this amount of mutual fund or multiple intermediaries multiple advisors have some internal targets and for that multiple times i have noticed they push mutual funds which may not be suitable for the investors and which results in mid selling now i'll share you the top two fund as per my preferred pick see the first one is parak parik flexi cap fund why i have noticed that around the fund managers themselves they had invested around 200 crores in that fund it means if you invest 1000 or even 100 rupees whatever the return you will earn the same return will, will the same return will be there on the 200 crore rupees which is actually belongs to the fund manager so which is a big thing so they had the skin in the game so they had put their own fund 200 crore is not a small amount they had put their own 200 crores in the same fund where you are putting the money so this is why there is a skin in the game and always uh, the past track record is all uh, is also good in Parak Parik Flexi Cap Fund, and they not only invest in Indian share market. Depending on the situation, they sometimes invest in U.S. market as well. They also invest from a variety of stocks, large cap, mid caps, and all. So you can check out this Parak Parik Flexi Cap Fund again. If you invest, I don't earn any kind of commission from it uh, because I am actually suggesting. First of all, I am not a mutual fund advisor or a mutual fund intermediary. So basically i have no commission nothing at all 
and uh, secondly as i am telling you to go for the direct plan in direct plan nobody will earn any kind of commission the second thing that i can suggest is an hdfc nifty 50 index fund see index fund is a passive fund like in all mutual fund it entirely depends on the fund manager the stock selection capability of the fund manager now in index fund nifty 50 index fund the return will be same as like the return of nifty 50 this is why expense ratio is very low on such fund now in multiple videos i have mentioned about the nifty 50 etf so if you are already invested in nifty 50 etf then no need to invest in index fund if you didn't invest in nifty 50 etf then you can uh, have a look in this uh, index fund hdfc index fund nifty 50 which will offer the similar return of the nifty 50 and yes always choose direct plan over the regular plan i am again telling you there is no profit of mine to suggest you the direct plan rather i fear that all these multiple intermediaries might put dislike button in this video because if all of you keep investing in the direct plan then their commission will reduce right but if you invest in direct plan you will earn something better even if it is a few hundred rupees more or few thousand rupees more that's my profit nothing else so this is why as i am saying multiple times it might happen that multiple uh, intermediaries might put dislike button in the video so as a normal investor to support me you can keep sharing this video as many times as you can also press the like button if you learn something new don't forget to press the like button and subscribe the channel so that on the upcoming days you can get such insightful videos from me at totally free of cost so that's it as on today i'll come with another insightful topic on the upcoming days till then happy investing